<laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Yo, what's cooking good lookings? It's um it's Sony Entertainment TV and uh I'm back with another video, kind of like a personal video. You guys know that I like to not get you involved or show you my personal life, just kind of talk about my personal life a little bit because uh, I consider you guys kind of like a family. You know, we're a little family. We all live on the same ship. And uh, if I'm not going to give 100% or, or whatever, I, I want to let you guys know. So I got a message this morning, um, a pretty interesting message. Inter, inter, I never had such a fucking hard time saying that word, but um, I'm going to read it. And then I have a couple of other things I want to go through. And uh, you guys probably know who it's from. Um, I don't know if I ever told you guys that my ex is, I wouldn't say stalking my stuff because it's just not like she was messaging me 24-7. But she definitely had a um, a couple of people watching my stuff, including herself, my Instagram, my YouTube, etc., etc. And, um, oh, there she goes. She's texting me right fucking now. I'm just going to turn off my ringer. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and read the message. Um... <laughs> I gotta do another one of these fucking things. She messaged me this morning and she said, Can you please stop talking about me on your channel, making me into some monster like I did so much wrong? Sorry, I didn't realize, um, you know, when your girlfriend is uh, texting, I don't give a fuck at this point. Um, I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell y'all exactly what I said to her in, in, in the short run after I read this message. I told her, I said I loved you. I did. I mean, I'm not gonna sit here and say that I don't. I mean, I kind of love everybody in a sense. Like if I saw a random person in the street having a seizure, I love that person enough as a human being to go and help him out. You know, if she were to die tomorrow, I'm not going to sit here and say I wouldn't care, you know, and that'll never happen. That'll never happen. But in terms of the relationship, I loved her, I treated her, I'm, and, and <laughs> we'll, we'll get to we'll get to the things as, as it comes along, but. This is how this is how it worked. All right. I loved her. I did. I did everything I could. Um, and I, like I said, we'll get to everything as we go down this message. But um, clearly, the feelings were not mutual. They might have been there in the beginning, whatever it was. But um, we're just gonna we're, we're gonna get into it. She said, like, I did so much wrong. I didn't realize that girlfriends who talk about um, how other guys are more important, um, how they want to fuck, uh, and stuff like that. Um, I didn't realize that uh, you didn't do much wrong. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't realize that because um, that's, that's normal in every relationship, I think. Um, I'm sure most of you guys out there who have girlfriends, I'm sure, or, or maybe even some of you girls out there who have boyfriends, I'm sure that's normal for you guys. You know, yeah, that's, that's normal. Uh, she said, yeah, I did wrong, but I also did good, or did you forget that and decide to make me look like a bad guy? Well, you see, the thing is, is it doesn't matter how much good you do, the relationship ended on very bad terms. Um, you know, you could have did everything over the course of however fucking many years we'll get together, and I'll tell you why I'm not saying the correct years now, um, or maybe the incorrect years, because, you know, y'all know I can't remember a fucking thing, but, um... Over however many years we were together, it all got overshadowed by all the bullshit that you decided to do. Like, I don't care what you have to say to anybody down there in the fucking ghetto, homestuck, fucking slick town that you fucking live in right now. I don't care. <laughs> you can say what you want. You can call me a fucking piece of shit and da-da-da-da-da. You lost a good fucking man. You did. And you're mad about it. You're mad about it. That's why you fucking talk so much shit. I don't talk shit on you. I never did until I had to start making these fucking videos talking about how you dogged me. And I know you're watching because you watched the other one. <laughs> I never had to fucking, I never had to talk shit about, about you. Never. Because I don't just go spreading my fucking shit out there to every random fucking person I meet on the street. But now I just don't care, you know, that that's all out the window. Uh, she said it made me look like a bad guy. And yeah, you did wrong too. You were a little controlling. Okay, let me stop right there. Uh, the little controlling part. I think I told you guys about this. Um, I can't remember. Um, she had Snapchat at one point. I don't have Snapchat because uh, I have a big swinging dick in between my fucking legs. And um, I have more important things to do than fuck around on Snapchat. Um, she would have Snapchat and she would do kind of the same thing. She wouldn't talk about fucking or anything like that. Like I said, that's what drew the line. That's why I had to kick her out. But it was kind of like the same thing. She would text random guys, tell them how they look good. And she would like send these really, I wouldn't say revealing pics. Um, 
but they just weren't appropriate if you were in a you considered yourself in a serious relationship. You shouldn't be sending the guy next door fucking pictures and 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 talking about how cute he is, blah 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 blah. blah. Whoever it might be, people you go to school with, um, you're in a relationship now. Um, the only person that you need to be calling cute or sexy or whatever, especially that you know personally, if it had been some fucking TV actor on the screen, whatever, uh, you'll never meet that man. But you go to school with this person or he lives right next door, there should be no reason why he should be calling you sexy and you should be having a response other than, I have a boyfriend. Um, so I did not tell her she couldn't have the app. I told her, if you continue to use that app in the way that you are using it, we can't be together. You can still have that, but we can't be together. Like, I'm sorry. Uh, you can use the app in a normal fucking way. Um, but if you're going to continue to use it to, you know, do whatever, you know, I don't, I don't want to say hoeing around because, God forbid, I call a, a lady a hoe, you know, that uh, that could be problems. Because, I mean, like, I don't think she fucked anybody else while we were in a relationship, but just talking about it is, is crossing the fucking line. So that's where that went. And then I wanted her home at a specific time in this area. And, and and I wouldn't even say a specific time. It wasn't like 1030. But if she told me she was on her way home um, and she was only a mile away and she was with a person that drives, why the fuck did it take you 40 minutes to get home? I mean, it, it's not that I was too concerned about who she was with. I was concerned about where she was at. You know, uh, you are a mile away. It took you 40 minutes to get home. I don't know who you're with. I don't know what color the car is that you're with. What if something comes over the fucking news, deadly fucking fatal crash of a fucking a four-car pileup, and your car is in there? I just don't fucking know it. And you weren't home for 40 minutes. Now I don't know. You know? And and, and that night's a little tricky. Um, I wouldn't say I was mad at her because it took her 40 minutes to get home for a mile. Um, I didn't think she was out, you know, getting pounded down by somebody else. I was actually genuinely upset because I thought that she wasn't going to come home. And that pissed me off that I had to sit there like that for 40 minutes. And not to mention, I had worked 4 in the morning to 10.30 at night that day. Um, so if you do the calculations, that's what, I mean, I don't fucking know, what, like 16, 16 and a half hours, roughly, something, somewhere along those lines, maybe even 18 hours, somewhere along those lines, um, not counting breaks or whatever. So almost like 18 hours, whatever the fuck it is, 4 in the morning, 10.30 at night, and uh, I had to come home to clean the room. I asked her to do that before she went out. I had to come home, clean the room, and then I had to sit here for 40 minutes and fucking and 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 um, overthink about where she might be if she was hurt or whatever. Um, so that's where the controlling comes in. I never told her what, who she could and could not talk to, who what she could and could not wear, where she could and could not go. That shit never fucking happened. So I'm gonna skirt that right off the fucking bat. Um, the only person I told her that she I didn't want her talking to was the guy that she said I didn't have to worry about, but yet she talked about fucking him. So, you know, she dogged me. Um, you know, I'm going to keep saying that because she did. Um, she said, but you constantly making me into a bad guy isn't okay. Sorry, I, I didn't know you were such a good fucking person. Uh, you know, who talks about fucking other people. <laughs> Sorry. Saying you wasted all those years on me was an even bigger lie because we were happy. Yeah, but at the end of the day, um, I'm not happy now and you're no longer with me. I wasted all those years buying you all these expensive purses and, and taking you places and cooking for you, cleaning for you, massa I, <laughs> massaging you. And I'm not even talking about like, you know, I'm not even talking about, I'm talking about like actual massages. You know, I would give her massages and whatnot. Um, I wasted all these years, all this effort and energy that I put the fuck into you trying to make you a better person because you knew how you were when we first got in a relationship. You admitted it yourself, whether you... Whether you admit it now or not, I don't have a fucking reason to lie. I'm not going to lie. I tell the fucking truth, and I tell the whole truth because I don't give a fuck what anybody thinks about me. Like, I really don't. Um, so I wasted all those fucking years I could have been giving to a good fucking girl who wouldn't have been texting other guys talking about fucking me. So that's where the years go. Yeah, sure, maybe I was fucking happy. But that doesn't mean I didn't waste my fucking life on you. When I could have been fucking giving that energy and attention to somebody else who would have cared about it. Next, um, at least, uh, or she said, that was an even bigger lie, we were happy. And then she says, dot, 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 at least I was. And then she said, and you told me you were, I was. Uh, you meant everything to me, I doubt it. I originally was going to see if you were okay, but when I saw that one video, I lost it. Sorry, uh, if you don't like my content, you don't have to fucking watch. I'm tired of babying you. 
I really am. Like, when we were in a relationship and you did something wrong, I would kind of try and like beat around the bush and be like, no, it's okay. Just don't try and do it again. I don't care. I don't fucking care. I hope you watch this whole thing. I hope you get to this fucking point. I don't care. You dogged me. You know you dogged me. And you know you lost a good fucking man. Point blank, period. Um, you know, uh, she said, yeah, I messed up, but I wasn't this monster you're making me out to be. Uh, yeah, you fucking were. <laughs> point blank, period. Um, you know, I can't sit here and say that you did fuck anybody else, but, um, you know, just talking about it, um, is, is not okay. It's, it's way across the fucking line. It's like, we're in a relationship now. The only person you need to be talking about fucking was me. <laughs> so, um, she said, I said what I needed. You will probably make a video about this. Ha! <laughs> well, at least you've gotten a little bit smarter since before we were fucking together. Since before we split. Um, yeah, obviously I'm gonna make a fucking video on this. And again, I hope you watch this whole fucking thing and you see this. Um, and I'm not trying to make you mad. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I'm really not. I know it probably seems like I'm pretty fucking upset right now. But, uh, I'm not mad. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just speaking the truth. And I'm tired of fucking having to deal with this, really. Um, you will probably make a video about this. And for the people you clearly have keeping an eye on me, which I don't. Uh, on me clearly shows that you care unlike your video says like I said I don't care about our relationship you can go fuck who you want now you can go get in a relationship with whoever you want our relationship is over you do what you want it's your life um, I still care about you as a person personally um, again if you were to die tomorrow or I happen to be around that area hanging out with my brother or whatever and I seen you fucking having a stroke in the street or a fucking seizure or whatever yeah I'd come and fucking help I wouldn't just walk past you like some fucking Neanderthal um, I have a message that I sent her that's very long, um, because I just had a lot of shit to say. Um, you know, talking about how I knew that she, uh, was subscribed to my channel. YouTube told me that. I know that she had people watching my Instagram. Uh, friends of hers would accidentally, uh, follow me on Instagram or like one of my photos. And Instagram would tell me so I knew. And then I told her about that piece of shit that fucking, uh, text, or, or texted her while we were in a relationship. And he comes into my job all the time. I don't know if I told y'all this. But the guy who has texted my girlfriend, or my ex-girlfriend, uh, comes in the Dollar General all the time. He doesn't even have the fucking balls to look me in the eye when he comes to fuck in. He can't even, he can't even look me in the face. Um, so basically, just all that shit. She said, I never dogged you, but you can believe what you want. Goodbye. Um, that was, she just sent me that message as I was reading that. Um, yeah, yeah, you fucking did. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know how your mind works. Um, clearly, it's not straight. It's, um, it's all over the place, um, but, yeah, you fucking dogged me, you know, you dogged a good man, I don't know a whole lot of men that, that buy their, their girlfriend's super, ex uh, you know, expensive purses and, and constantly feed them and clean up after them and give them massages and whatnot, and I'm not sitting here calling myself a perfect man, I'm not, I'm not, you know, I, I, um, I have my flaws, everybody has their flaws, you know, um, but, I definitely was a good fucking man. <laughs> I definitely was. Um, I treated you pretty well. And, and she brings up the whole thing. And it was like I didn't treat her. You know, I say that I treated her like, you know, some. No, I didn't say I treated you perfectly. And I, I said that in my message. I didn't I didn't treat her perfectly. No, like I said, we had our flaws. Um, you know, and we got in arguments quite a bit. And 99% of the time they were because of her. But um, we, you know, we got in arguments. And... Um, you know, I, I have my problems, but, you know, I never talked to, to any other girls talking about how I wanted to cuddle and fuck. I'm sorry. You dogged me. Um, and you dogged a good man. Like I said, I hope you're watching this whole fucking thing. And I hope you know that you fucked up. Point blank, period. I never dogged you, but you can believe what you want. Goodbye. Let's go to Instagram. Because, uh... <laughs> before... <laughs> Before I, um, oh, wow, no fucking, you piece of shit, you fucking pussy, you piece of shit, oh my god, no, I can't believe it, listen, my ex was a bisexual before I got with her, when I was with her, she turned kind of straight, um, and she really didn't text any other chicks, um, but she was bisexual before I got with her, she was actually dating a chick, and I'm not going to say her name because she's a pussy. She really is. Um, I'm not going to say her name because I don't want her to fucking come after me with, like, lawyers and shit and whatnot. Fuck you, you, you're a pussy. Um, 
she was in that relationship with this person and it was a fucking toxic relationship an absolutely toxic relationship that i helped her with me before we were even together before my fat ass because i lost a little bit of weight since then but before my fat ass even thought i had a chance with her I just wanted to be a good person and help her out through this toxic fucking relationship she was in with this girl. And um, I eventually helped her out and she went out and she, I think she dated two other guys before she got with me. Um, and I was fine for being fucking seconds, thirds, fourths, whatever the fuck, because I wanted her. That's who I wanted. I didn't want nobody the fuck else around. I wanted her. And I waited for her. And she dogged me. So, you know. But she sent me two voice messages that she now deleted. I had to cut that out because I showed her fucking her Instagram name because I'm an idiot. But, um, we're back now. She sent me two voice messages that she now deleted. It says post unavailable. I was going to play them for you guys. I'm so mad that she deleted them because uh, she's a pussy. Well, essentially, she talked about how um, my ex is not an attention whore because I called her an attention whore. And then she then said in, she said that she's not an attention whore just because she went and got attention from other people. This is essentially what she said, roughly. Just because she went and got attention from other people because you were mad every time she talked to somebody with a dick doesn't mean she's a attention whore. No, that's exactly what it fucking means. And I didn't get mad to her every time she talked to somebody with a dick. When somebody with a dick would talk to her like, oh man, I want to fuck you or I think you're super cute. And she would just be like, oh yeah, no, no, that's cool. That's fine. I don't need to defend my boyfriend's name or anything and fucking pretend like, you know, I just pretend like I don't have a boyfriend. I'm like, what the fuck? Uh, no, that's the problem. You know, she talked to plenty of fucking guys while we were in a relationship. Then, uh, and anybody that she didn't talk to in a sexual way or anything, that was perfectly fucking fine. But, um, that's not how it worked. And then, uh, so she went on and she said her bullshit. She said, Elizabeth's not an attention whore. She don't care about anybody else. And then she said that, uh, she was, um, I can't remember exactly what she said. Y'all know my memory really bad and I only listened to each one of them once. But she said, you know, she was a great person, and blah, 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 and you're a piece of shit, and da, 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 whatever. Fuck you. Whatever. You're a pussy. You deleted your messages. You're a fucking pussy. Um, she then said in the second message, um, you know, she's the greatest person I've ever known, and blah, 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 and, you know, when we were, I don't think she talked about her relationship, but she said something about her being a great fucking person, and, 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 uh, you know, she, she, she treats people in her relationships great, something along those lines. Um, and then she said that, uh, if I see one more fucking video, I hope my dedicated subscribers are watching this, because if I wind up dying in the next couple of days, you know why, call the NSA, call the FBI, the government, the police, because she texted me and said, if I see another one of these fucking videos, ding, 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 this one right here, motherfucker, I'm gonna come up there and I'm gonna beat your ass. That's what she said. <laughs> That's what she said. She said, if I see another one of those videos, I'm going to come up there and I'm going to beat your ass. So, and I'm assuming since she can't beat my ass herself, um, she might bring back up. And if they wind up, you know, bringing straps or, or you know, Dracos or whatever the fuck and they want to shoot up at me and whatever. I'm assuming I'm going to probably wind up laid out on the fucking, on the, on the tarmac. But, um, that's fine. You can make fucking threats all you want, you fucking pussy. Don't text me. This is where I really got mad. Because I had to help my ex out of this toxic relationship just for this fucking piece of shit to text me and pretend like she's a great fucking person. I know. I knew your relationships before I even got with her. Don't, oh, and she's the one that said that... um they only knew each other for seven years before she got with me, so there was no way we were together for seven years, or whatever the fuck she said. Um, so there's no way we were together for seven years. I'm sorry, it could have been like five or six years. It was at least five fucking years, because it's 2012 now, which means we, or it's 2020 now, which means we would have been going out in 2015, for sure. Um, so, what the fuck, like, and, 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 and that's, that's what she said. She said she was going to come up here and beat my ass, so, um... I will now walk around with my hands tied behind my back in a blindfold, so if you really have the fucking naz that you say you do, come knock on my fucking door. You know where I live. And I guarantee you, I will have a fucking 12-gauge shotgun pointed dead at the middle of your fucking chest. And I'm not fucking playing. You come up to my house, my fence, my yard, I'll take you the fuck out. 
point blank period don't come on my fucking property you don't know me you've never even met me I've never met you but I know what kind of a fucking person you are she can lie to you about all she wants I seen the messages between you and her I helped her out of that fucking out of that problem out of that fucking relationship don't fucking talk about me like that don't ever fucking talk about me like that keep my fucking name out of your fucking infested mouth point blank period that's what pissed me off is that you're the fucking you're a piece of shit you are the lowest of the fucking low the way you treated her and I treat her like a good fucking woman even though she was a she was a piece of shit she dogged me I treated her like a good woman and you're gonna fucking sit here and talk about me I don't think so come to my fucking house I, I fucking dare you I fucking dare you come to my fucking house so essentially what I said to her was, you two broke up several times. I said, get the fuck off of my Instagram, reject. She said, And then I said, strong, because she said that uh, they had the strongest relationship between, you know, the two of them. Um, I said, strongest relationship. She's only hanging out with you because you're a fucking rebound. And then I said, y'all had a toxic relationship that I helped her with. Get the fuck off my Insta. Uh, and then she then went and deleted those messages. Um, oh, I'm going to take, hold on. Thanks. For deleting those messages, stay tuned to my YouTube <laughs> my YouTube channel. Uh, turn on those notifications so you can see my newest upload. You just might be in it. the fuck off my Instagram. Oh, and as far as uh, my ex, um, I loved you. I really did. <laughs> I mean, like, it showed in the way I treated you. My God. You can't even sit here and deny that all the women the fuck around you were jealous of our fucking relationship. Like, I was a... You're telling... You're sitting here pretending like I'm a bad guy. All the women around us were jealous, including your own fucking mother. Jealous of our fucking relationship. And it's not because you treated me like a fucking king. It's because of the way I treated you. And you can talk shit about me all you want. You talk about how bad I treated you. The things I did to you. How much I controlled you. But at the end of the day, you know in the back of your fucking mind. How I treated you. That's why you had to send me that message. And try and make yourself seem like a better fucking person. Because you wanted to match my fucking level. But you can't. Point blank period. If she decides to text me, or um, if her fucking, her ex from several years ago decides to text me, um, I won't be making a video about it. This is the last video I'm going to make. I spoke my mind. Um, if you really have the fucking nads that you think you do, uh, you can show up to my fucking front door, and I guarantee you that'll be the last fucking place that you stand. Um, and that's not a threat. Oh, trust me, that's a fucking promise. Don't come on my property, bro. Don't come on my fucking property. Uh, she's a female, by the way. I don't know if I told you that. I said she was bisexual. She's a female. Um, don't come on my fucking property. Uh, if my ex texts me, you know, she can just watch this video and rewatch this fucking video. She wants my response. Um... I loved you. I did. I treated you very well. Uh, again, not perfect, but very well. I hope that you can get your shit together before you get in another fucking relationship because I don't want any other fucking guy to have to waste you know years of his life on you if you're going to treat them the same way you treated me. Uh, point blank period. I'm tired of fucking having to be depressed and upset and, um, you know, uh, I, I'm tired of having to overthink about everything, everything that I've done. You know, like I did something wrong. When I didn't, you know, obviously I had my flaws, just like every relationship, but uh, my flaws were not big enough to warrant you to go talk about fucking somebody else and then going to see that person, whether y'all fucked or not, I don't care. And I hope Azim is watching this video too. And, um, you know, you're a fucking snake. You know, you're a snake. Um, you know, point blank period. Y'all know what you did. Um, 
it's fucking sad, man. It's fucking sad that the millennials, man, the killers of trust, you know, they can't, uh, they can't be trusted. Um, I did whatever I could for the both of them, for the both of them, even Azim, and I helped him out through his fucking shit all the time. You know, and I sat in silence and, 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 and I dealt with my own problems because I didn't want to have to depend on any of you fucking losers to, uh, to help me. Because, you know, I knew, I knew something like this would happen one day. Maybe not so much with my ex. You know, obviously I was like, oh, we'll be together forever. You know, yeah. No. But I knew, I knew one day you'd fuck me over. I knew one day all of you'd fuck me over. All my friends from back there, you know, it's just the, the area it was in. Fucking snakes, fucking snakes. Um, to any of my dedicated subscribers who have watched this far, um, go ahead and comment that you, uh, you made it this far. Um. Uh, I'm tired of I'm just I'm tired of having to overthink and, and, and contemplate how good of a guy I was because in my mind you know there's always more I could have did you know if I would have done more then maybe she'd still be here but at the end of the day at the end of the day I gotta keep in mind that I did everything I fucking could I really did she just didn't try hard enough she couldn't fucking she couldn't stop wanting attention Oh, and to this fucking piece of shit that wants to box me out and, you know, you can show up on my property. Um, she even messaged me telling me that she, you know, would go and get attention from other people when we when we were in arguments. So, before you come and talking shit thinking you know everything, when you clearly fucking don't, you have got to be the stupidest motherfucker I've ever fucking known. Um, don't, don't fucking text me. I don't know who the fuck you think you are, but, um... I consider myself a pretty low fucking person just because my achievements that I want to reach in life are all the way up here, and I'm, I feel like I'm all the way down here. Um, but even though I feel like I'm all the way down here because my expectations for myself are so low, you're fucking way below me, all right? Um, you're a fucking shitty person. <laughs> you're an absolute fucking snake. Um, fuck it. I'm, I'm, I'm done with this fucking video. Um... Do whatever the fuck you want to this video. I don't care what you want to do. Um, again, if you've made it this far through the video, you watched the whole thing, just comment you watched the whole thing. I know you dedicated motherfuckers are out there. Calamity, I know you'll probably be messaging or, or commenting that you watched the whole thing. I know I know for a fact you're dedicated because you fucking... You comment on all my shit. You know, whenever I'm like... If you watch the whole thing, comment. He's always, bam, right on that shit, so... Um, shout out to Calamity. It's my boy right there. Um, again, don't worry about me. I know a lot of you, after I post these kind of videos, a lot of you message me and... Um, you ask me if I'm alright, if I'm okay, and I appreciate it. I really do. I've never had so many people <laughs> worry about me before. Um, hits me it hits me really hard to have uh to have so many people to have so many people worried about me people from around the world it's crazy it uh it really is <sighs> do whatever you want this video Rewatch it don't watch it like it dislike it unsubscribe uh comment share it whatever the fuck you want to do um like i said uh just don't worry about me I'll be okay. I really will. <laughs>